Hello my crafty friends, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to make two cute little Christmas cards. We're going to use Elegant Edges, this 6x6 paper pad from Pebbles. It's called Home for Christmas. I've got some papers from my stash that I think came from Recollections that I got last year. And I've got two new stamp sets, guys. We're going to be using one of them today on this card. And then in the next video, we'll use the other set. But here are the two new sets. We've got Gingerbread Christmas. And this one with this cute little penguin and ice cream cone is called Just Chillin'. These are in the Cards TV stamp store right now, guys. They're ready to ship. So if you're interested in either one of these, hop on over and get them while I've got them because <laughs> a lot of these sell out quickly but we're going to use gingerbread Christmas today so we're going to take a closer look at this one I've got this cute little gingerbread boy he's got a big smile and a bow tie and then then down here I've got a mug and it's got cocoa in it or you could use it for coffee or tea but we've got gingerbread spice and everything nice gingerbread hugs and cocoa kisses sending you merry christmas wishes then we have warm christmas wishes gingerbread man so spicy and sweet you make me happy when you i eat i wrote that one <laughs> i know it's kind of corny but i think it's cute and then may your holidays be sweet we're going to use the mug the gingerbread boy and we're going to use the little gingerbread man poem as well as the gingerbread hugs and cocoa kisses so let's get started guys here's what i cut out for both cards now we've got a landscape style card for this one and then this one is a portrait style card they're both white card bases and they're both four and a quarter by five and a half when folded i have a brown mat for this card and a red mat for this one and both of these are cut at four by five and a quarter and i'll have all these dimensions for you at the end of the video guys if you don't want to write them down now you can go to the end of the video pause the video and jot those down they both then have a pattern mat this is from my stash this is three and three quarters by five and this is from that pebbles pad and this is also three and three quarters by five now I took some memento tuxedo black ink that's my favorite for stamping sentiments and I went ahead and stamped it on this little label and it's got a red shadow and I found both these labels in the elegant edges cartridge one of them's rectangular and one of them square and I found them on page 51. I cut this one for this sentiment, which has the gingerbread hugs and cocoa kisses, sending you Merry Christmas wishes. So this one is square, and then I cut this shadow out of some cocoa brown cardstock. And both of these were cut at two inches. And then for this cute little card with the red mat, I hit shift and oblong and I use this for my sentiment and I just turned it sideways and this is gingerbread man so spicy and sweet you make me happy when you I eat <laughs> and then I came down here and cut this shadow out of red these were also cut at two inches so you can see guys you can just change up your papers and what you're cutting and you could start mass producing these for Christmas and get that done now and both of them have this cute little gingerbread boy. Love him. There he is right there. Now you can stamp him any color you'd like. But I used some memento rich cocoa. And I will have coordinating die cuts for both these stamp sets, guys. And they'll be out in a few days. If you don't want to stamp and fussy cut, or you could just go ahead and stamp these on your cards and not fussy cut them. But if you don't want to do that, I've got die cuts for you too. <laughs> okay, and then here's the mug, which is also on this set. 
and I used my Spectrum Nor markers, and I didn't do any shading or anything. I just colored it in, and I think it turned out really cute. For the mug, I used EB1. If you don't have Spectrum Nor, you can use Bic, you can use uh, Copics, whatever you have will work. So that was EB1 for the mug. The cocoa inside is EB5. The heart, I use DR5. And then for my two shades of green, I use CG1 and CG2. Now you can fussy cut these out. I fussy cut one of my gingerbread men, and the other one I cut with my brother skin and cut too. And it was no trouble for either one. So I'm going to grab some foam tape and my ATG adhesive, and I'm going to get these together real quick, guys. We'll come back and take a last look at these cute little Christmas cards. Here are my two finished cards. I think they turned out so cute. I love little gingerbread guys. They're just adorable. And it took me a total of maybe 15 minutes stamping and everything to do these two little cards so these could easily be mass produced for Christmas so here we have gingerbread man so spicy and sweet you make me happy when you I eat and I added some baker's twine to the top and this color is called maraschino and I just put a little glue dot under the bow to hold it in place and everything let's see the gingerbread boy on this one is on foam tape, and I just put my sentiments down flat. So this gingerbread boy is also on foam tape, and so is the mug. This is gingerbread hugs and cocoa kisses. See, here's our mug of cocoa. <laughs> Sending you Merry Christmas wishes, and I love the plaid with this. So there we go, guys. If you're interested in picking up this set of stamps, this one's called Gingerbread Christmas. It's in the store now, ready to ship. And in our next video, we're going to be making two cards with the Just Chillin' set. We'll do one with the penguin and then one with the ice cream cone. This one's got Chillax, Just Chillin', Chill Out, Have a Cool Birthday, You Give Me Chills. Have an ice day. You warm my heart, and you're so cool. So thanks for coming by today, guys, and I will see you again soon with two more cards. Have a great day. Bye now.